WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rowans coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. It's a sea of red out there. The Dow's off 430 points, a little over 1%. S&P, the same one at 6 tenths percent there, about 68 points. And NASDAQ 100, 267 points, just slightly over 2%. Russell's off nearly 2% or 37 points. Semi's off 3%, 89 points to the downside. Gold's down 18 bucks. That's 1%. Silver's off 15 pennies. That's trading out at $19. Even Stephen Light Speed Crude off 89 cents. Trading out at 91.63. Natural gas up 9 pennies. 9.43 is the print there in the 30 year treasury. 137.17. That's off 9 ticks. Let's go take a look at that 9 panel market update chart. What do we know? We know that price right now is trading below the bottom of its daily profile, but right into that support level, that support level being the center of its uh, bearish structured weekly profile level. That point, uh, price point is 41.21. So I'd say that would be an area to be watching. If price closes below that, that would suggest lower price. In fact, you could generate an A to B equals CD to the downside on the daily basis. However, if that's going to happen, well, what the spot volatilics is not going to do is what it's done so far. And what it's done so far is it has tested and rejected its 50-day exponential moving average. That means the level there to be watching at day's end throughout the day is 23.57 to be exact. If price stays below that level, well, it still suggests that buyers are the ones in control of this market. We'll take a look at the market breadth, see if, in fact, that supports that as well. The NQ right now, it did form that new profile. We took a look at that yesterday. The bottom and center are at the same spot, 12,915. So a close below that would suggest a run to 12,565. The top of the profile, which uh, is acted as resistance today, 13,098. So that's the level we'll be watching at day's end. You close above that, then price likely headed to 13,505. U.S. dollar index out here. What's it doing? It just simply got done. It has a road momentum indicator top. It got down and tested support. And support is its bullish structured profile between 107.69, 108.07. Support has held. Goldilocks has moved south. It's trading below the uh, center of its bearish structured weekly profile. And that's at 1757. Um, it really needs to close below the uh, low of August 22nd. That's at 1740 to suggest significant moves to the downside. Silver, now, this is the December contract, by the way, that we're looking at. The support level here, 1888. Resistance, 1937. Uh, right now, you've got a new profile attempting to form a lights recruit support there, 8651. Resistance at 9473. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Friday, have a fantastic one, a fantastic weekend. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.